Hi everyone, it's Anne here from annshappystampers.co.uk and welcome to number one of um, my first um, tutorial. I've got seven days coming up um, back to back, all focused on the new catalogue. So I think it's going to be, well I hope it's going to be a good week, so I hope you enjoy it. And the first thing I've got for you today is this gorgeous sweet little origami box now it's not my idea I've seen quite a few of these um, on YouTube and Pinterest but I've only really seen the larger type and I've slightly done mine a bit different in that I've added some I've added like a base to it from the Liren squares and the lid just comes off and inside I've just got some little sweets and I think it's a gorgeous little box that would be great for wedding favours, etc. So it's not hard. It, it might look a little bit complicated, but honestly, once you've done one, you'll realise how easy it is. And then you'll probably be just making loads because that's what I've been doing. And here's another one I made. And you can actually leave them out like a star if you want, um, just to show you that you can do that as well. But I just attached mine down because I like that look better but you um you can leave them like that so we're going to use for this little box we're going to use the gorgeous eastern palace um eastern palace dsp and I'm using this one here we won't be doing any stamping at all on this one and I'm also going to decorate the top of the box with some of these lovely um, vinyl stickers as well, which is from the Eastern Palace bundle. So I've got some little pieces ready. Now they're just the layering squares that I've cut out in lemon, lime twist and dapper denim. But really to make the box, all you need is one piece of DSP which measures six by six inches. Now, the bit that, the side that you want your, let me get this right, the bit that you want to see on the outside of your box needs to face downwards, okay? So I'm gonna have mine, I'm gonna have mine this way, okay? And it's really, really easy, so I'm just gonna try and take me time and go through it with you as best as I can so you understand. So just have your bone folder and the first thing we're going to do is just take our paper and we're just going to fold it in half. Okay, make sure it all meets up nice and even and we're just going to burnish that down. Okay, and we're going to open it up and we're going to turn it round this way and we're going to fold it again. Okay, so nothing hard about that. Open it up again, so you'll have like four squares, you know. Then just turn it to the side, turn it like this, and then we're just gonna go point to point like that. Okay, again, we're gonna burnish it. And then we are just going to turn it over and we're going to fold it back on itself again. And then what you will have is if you just fold it like this, you'll see it wants to go in to the shape. Okay. And make sure you have the open end pointing down towards you. Just give that a little burnish. Okay. And if you just take one of the flaps here and just fold it over burnish it just so it creates like a line for you a guide for you to follow okay so then what you want to do is take this piece again here and all we're going to do is we're just going to fold it into that line that we've just made the middle line and we're just going to burnish it down Okay, so that's what you what you're wanting to do. Okay, and the same 
with this side just fold it I'll try and do it the right so it, you can see hopefully better what I'm doing we're just going to match this up to the middle and we're going to do the same we're going to burnish okay so that's what you should have then we're going to turn it over we're going to create another line for ourselves so we can have our guide and we're going to do the same again we're just going to go into the middle and we're going to do the same with this bit Oops. so that's what you should have okay I suppose it looks like a little kite really now what you want to do is take one of these sides that we've just folded and you want to pop your finger in like this okay get it right in the corner and then you want to press this down so that I'm going to show you so that that score line there meets up with this line here okay and then you just want to burnish and then you're going to do the same you're going to open this up pop your finger in there and you're just going to press that down so it meets up so that is what you should have now okay turn it round and we're going to do the same with these two so we're just going to pop our finger in and we're just going to make sure those two lines there meet up and again the last one just like that burnish them down so you should have that on both sides okay and then what you're going to do is if we just press that in there so we're folding it over on the other side and you can see you've got lines already there all we're going to do is just fold them back over okay like so and then we are gonna so we've done that keep them in there and then this other side we need to just go around until you can see the sides that you need okay and I think is that it yes that's it so once you're spinning it round you'll see that all of your sides are the same okay so just fold it back on itself again we need it flat now okay so we need it flat like this and then this bit here because you will have four points you see so we're going to just lift one of the points up just as far as it'll go just give that a press down then we're going to turn it so basically we need to lift all four of these points up to the middle okay just until they're all folded up so that is now what you should have okay you've got all four of them okay and then you can just turn it round this way and maybe just pull the little points out just to help you to get the box because that's what you will end up with so you just want to pop your fingers in and you want to push the box out okay and just opening it up and pushing it out And that is what you will end up with okay gorgeous little box and then we I want to attach the sides of mine around here so I'm just going to turn it on upside down and I've got some red liner tape for this because you want it to really stick and I'm just going to put a strip just down I'm going to pop a strip just down the middle there on all four of these 
I'll do one and I'll show you what I mean. Just a bit of tape. Just like that down the seam. And then just peel the backing off. And then take your little point and you just want to press it down, okay? Like so. So I'm going to do that to the other three and I'll be back when it's done. There we go. I have glued all of the four little points down and then you're left with a beautiful sweet little box. Now from the layer and squares I cut the larger scallop and then the next two sizes down. I cut two in lemon lime twist and one in dapper denim and I just glued them together. And I want to glue them to the bottom of my box because that is going to create like a, a little stand. And I'm actually squishing the box down a bit because I want mine to sit on this base. So make sure you stick them down before you stick your base on. And what I did was I just got some Tombow, plenty of Tombow, and just stuck it onto the bottom of the box like that and then just try and get it pretty much in the center if you can get it pretty even which I think that looks okay and then you just want to hold that down press that down for a few minutes while that sticks you can take your bone folder and press that down as well just to hold because it with the box being curved a little bit you might just have to hold it for just press it like that so it you know so it sticks You could also use tape if you wanted to, like maybe the red liner tape, what I used for the little stars. Okay, so I'm going to leave mine at that, which I think looks beautiful. Now, for the lid, I've got a piece of very vanilla, which is two and a half by two and a half. And we just need to score this at half an inch on all four sides because this is going to be our lid so it's stuck on there yeah so half an inch what is that on there I think it's glue actually right half an inch and just turn it round All right, so you need that for your lid. And then we're just going to fold and burnish it. Now we're going to make like a little box out of this. <clears throat> Excuse me. And onto that we're going to stick... This is going to go on the top, then we're going to have a piece of very vanilla, then we're going to have one of our vinyl stickers. So before we put this together, we need to make a little hole in the middle, okay? So I've just got a, a piece and mat here and a piece and tool, and I'm just going to guess where I think the middle is. So I think it's about there. I'm just going to poke a hole in there. And that's not too bad really and then what you can do is just to make it easier is you can then punch it with your little hole punch just to make it a bit bigger I've got a one-eighth of an inch punch and then this will go in the center of that so you can then punch one in there and 
then that is going to go in the center of there and then you can punch a hole in through there okay and then we'll just need to punch a hole through our sticker at the end before we put the ribbon in so and this little bit <coughs> excuse me is going to get stuck on the inside just to hide the ribbon so we need to just quickly put a uh, snip our little our little box so if we just cut up just take a little piece out of there Turn it round and do the same on these two little boxes. Okay, so there's your little box. So we need some adhesive on our four little tabs. So I'm just going to use some fast fuse for quickness. So just on all four of your little tabs. Okay, and then just stick it together like you would any other box, any other lid or whatever. There we go, because what will happen is this will sit in there to make our little our little lid so right what we need to do now is pop our piece of dapper denim on which it should be pretty much in the center let's see yeah it's not too bad it might be a little bit off but it doesn't really matter so we need to pop some glue on to here just a little bit of glue oh, come on on there and then make sure you line it up with the little hole because we need that for our ribbon Like that and then we are going to have this on the top of there so we want a bit of glue under here I need to get a new one open I think and line that up as well And there we go and then taking one of the vinyl stickers like I said oh, how am I going to get my hole in there now oh, I'm going to have to use the pokey tool I knew I'd do something wrong I should have really stuck the sticker on before I attached it to the box because we need a hole in there well actually this has a little hole in the middle you can see there what we could do is stick it back onto there and like I said you can see there is a little hole in the middle of the flower so I'm just going to take the hole punch and I'm just going to punch a little hole through there and then we have a little hole in our sticker now and that is going to go we just want it in the middle oh, ah, I don't want to stick it there oh honestly let's hope we can salvage it never mind I'll have to put that bit at the back but yeah that's what we're having which I think looks gorgeous 
and then I've got some gold one eighth of an inch ribbon so I'm going to cut about that much off and then I'm just going to slot it through our little holes that we made Right, I'm sorry everyone, I don't know what happened. I was um, rabbiting on to myself and thought it was recording and then when I checked the battery must have run out and I've missed the last couple of bits. So I've had to um, record a, a little video again. But what I did was I just slotted the ribbon through and I just taped it down. And then with a little piece of very vanilla I told you I was going to stick on just to hide where the ribbon is underneath and this measures one and three eighths by one and three eighths and I just glued that onto there and then what I did was I just slotted a little tassel over the ribbon and then I just popped a little glue dot there and just stuck that on so it doesn't come off and I just popped a few little sweets in and that really is it. It's actually really simple but I think it's just such a gorgeous little box and I think they would be great for, um, you know, little favours. Now, this one I used um, a bigger scallop square. This one was just um, the first two there. I didn't put the last one on so you can do them any way you like. Um, but yeah, I love them and I hope you'll give them a try and I will be back again tomorrow because I've got my seven days so I'll be back tomorrow with another tutorial so I'm sorry about the end of the video but thankfully you didn't miss too much just slotting the ribbon through and the little tassel so until tomorrow, take care and bye for now